crack everyone, Jobber here, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we have a really epic opening for everybody. And we're gonna be starting things off with the Pegasus 2003 Deluxe Edition. So inside this, we're gonna have the Pegasus Structure Deck, plus two Labyrinth of Nightmare Booster Packs in a 50 pack of the Metallic Sleeves, plus this really cool carrying box. I've ever seen these carrying boxes way back in the day when I was playing over in the Toys R Us tournaments they had back then. I don't know if any of you played all the way back then, but I did, that's how I was learning how to play. Then we have the 2003 Joey Deluxe Edition box. Same, same basic thing. Has the structure deck in here, two of the Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs, plus that 50 pack of metallic sleeves and this amazing carrying box. And not only are we going to open up both of those boxes in today's video, we also have this mystery box that was mailed to us from a fan. And... That person also mailed us this amazing, very kind and thoughtful letter to us as well. And this message reads, Jesse, hope you are doing well, my friend. As I mentioned in our emails, I have been really getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh lately and have started watching a lot of your videos. Well, thank you very much. Uh, been enjoying them so much. It is so cool to see some of the nostalgic items you have been opening. Reminds me of the good times of playing as a kid with Yu-Gi-Oh and my friends. Uh, you are such a great person and an awesome Yugi tuber. I thought it would be a cool idea to send you a small mystery box of my own. I don't sell these mystery boxes myself. It was just a little box I put together to represent some of the things that I enjoy about Yu-Gi-Oh. I hope this item finds you well and that you and the Jobber community enjoy this as much as I did. Shout out to my friend Jake Peterson, <laughs> who spent uh, hours upon hours with me opening packs, trading cards, deck testing, and going to tournaments together. Thank you so much for willing to do this and for being such a great person. Let's get cracking, David. Absolutely amazing. So thank you so much, David. I really, really appreciate this. And before we get into this amazing epic, classic 2003 opening plus whatever's inside this mystery box right here i have a giveaway and it's not just any like normal giveaway we are doing we giving, giving away the three egyptian god cards so those are pretty iconic cards and then you have the red eyes black dragon the dark magician and the blue eyes white dragon and i'm going to give away all of these to one lucky winner and all I have to do to enter this contest is give this video a like, comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you see in today's video, and be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe and hit that bell and turn on all notifications on YouTube and on your phone so you actually get notified. And that comes in handy because I'll be announcing the winner of these six cards in the comment section of my next video. So stay tuned for that and follow me on Instagram. Say hi to me and I will always say hi back. All right, so without any further ado, my friends, Let's get cracking. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely insane. I can't wait. So this mystery box has been sitting here in my living room for too long. I had to, I got this, I got both of these deluxe editions in. I wanted to do this as a combo video. I thought this would be really, really cool. And thank you again, David. I can't wait to check out all these cool products. There's a lot in here. <laughs> Let's go and take this all out and see what is inside this. Oh my gosh. There's so much. It's like Christmas and they're all wrapped up. All right, so I think we got everything out of there. Let's go and see this big one here. I think it's a tin. It, sound, it sounded very tinny. <laughs> Making up words as we move along. Let's go and see what we got here. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So we have the Heretic Sun tin here. My gosh, this is a beautiful classic and one of my all time favorite looking Yu-Gi-Oh tins that have ever come out. I absolutely loved it when they started releasing this 3D design on here. This is beautiful. All right, so this is from the from 2012. It's been that long. My gosh, time is just flying, everybody. My goodness. Well, I hope everybody's week has been going well. And now your guys' weekend. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this video. I think this is going to be really, really cool. Popping open the Yugi. I mean, the Yugi. The, <laughs> the Joey and Pegasus Deluxe Editions that we have over there. And then these amazing mystery products that we have as well. All right, so we have the Heretic Sun. Let's go and check this out. So I remember, I believe this is the, the XYZ that I used when I was playing at Dark World back in the day. So let's see, what is it? Yep, two level eight monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one X XYZ material from this card tribute. Um, any number of monsters from your hand on your side of the field, minimum one, destroy the equal number of cards on the field. I, I did run this in my, my uh, old school Dark World deck, so very cool. Man, these are some really good promos. You got the Rescue Rabbit in there. Look at all those. Those are great, my gosh. All right, 
now let's go and see what these booster packs have in store for us. So we have a Galactic Overload booster pack. So we have two of those, a Photon Shockwave and Order of Chaos. All right, so I have, we haven't opened up this Order of Chaos in quite a while. Man, I, I remember opening up a, some cases of this way back in the day. And um, if I remember correctly, this is the, this, no. This isn't the same set. I'm thinking the tour guide. What is the set that tour guide came in? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A ultimate rare Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Wow. I remember doing a giveaway and I was giving away one of these because this is literally one of my all time favorite looking ultimate rares to ever be printed. Oh my gosh. What a gorgeous looking card. Wow. Woo. Oh my gosh, what a way. So I gotta do a little shout out here to our KMC Hypermat sleeves for donating sleeves to the channel. I have a link in the description down below if you were wanting to get, get some sleeves yourself. There's a little promo code to save you some money. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, what a pull. I am drawing a blank, oh my gosh, on the tour guide. What set is it? Is it Oryx? Or am I, am I just crazy? Well, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I ended up pulling a tour guide way back in the day, and it was uh, it was one of those like factory air. I mentioned I've talked about this before in some of our videos. And just in case you uh, didn't watch that, I'm going to mention it again. Uh, I opened up a box and it had no foils in it at all, except for one, and it was a secret rare no name tour guide. <laughs> That's so crazy. I've seen some pretty uh, insane things. Unfortunately, I uh, really I think if I was doing oh my gosh, there's just no way. Extra Beetle here is our secret rare. An ultimate rare and a secret rare in our two booster packs. Oh my gosh. This is insane. <laughs> this tin is absolutely loaded. Wow. And what a awesome looking secret rare too. Gosh. But yeah, I was saying I've, I've got some really cool uh, boxes that I've opened up back in the day. And I don't believe then I was doing YouTube. If I was, I, I, I didn't record that one i don't remember i <laughs> with youtube when i first started out i was just posting random things and <laughs> just just putting things on my youtube you know i never uh, never imagined the the youtube channel would ever take off like it has so this has been absolutely a epic ride i love reading all your guys's comments and uh, and your messages you guys send me on instagram and whatnot it has been so cool Especially when it wasn't like planned or anything, you know, it was a super organic, just kind of like, I like opening booster packs. And my friend Robbie Cole's like, why don't you make a YouTube channel? I'm like, ah, you know, I'm not really feeling I want to do YouTube. He's like, just do it. Just do what you normally do. Just open in your product and just put it and just record it. <laughs> like, All right. So here we are many, many years later. So it has been a absolutely a fun, amazing ride, especially with all of you guys. It has been so cool, and I'm so thankful for all of you. So really, thank you guys so much for everything. I really appreciate it. I mean, like literally, I mean this this mystery, these mystery packs, these cards that we just pulled was because of one of you. So that's just so cool. Yeah, big shout out to David. Thank you. So awesome. I can't wait to see what these other ones are. Like, it really reminds me of Christmas. I thought about taking them out of the wrapping. I'm like, nah, I don't want to know what's inside. So I didn't even touch any of the products inside the box. I just kept it like this sealed. So there was no foils in the rest of the booster packs, but the two packs, the two first packs that we got was an ultimate rare and a secret rare. So yeah, there's no complaints from me there. All right, so now we have this, which kind of feels like a, uh, maybe like a blister. Oh, it's something a little bit more modern. That's cool. So we have the Rage of Raw Mega Packs right here, and then, oh, it's not, not that old. <laughs> Actually, these are pretty old, huh? Legendary Six, uh, the Legendary Six Samurai Shein. The Yellow Mega Pack, wow. Man, did we ever open any of these? This is, this is cool. Showing some really iconic cars in the back that are in here. Yeah, so I've always mentioned this before to people when they ask me what, what products you should get into. These sets right here, these reprint sets are absolutely the best way to go for for anyone that's like starting out in Yu-Gi-Oh! because you just get like the hottest cards that are, that came out in the most recent, you know, sets all in one set. So like the end of this year, they'll have the 2021 Megatons with any luck. And then they're going to have all kinds of amazing reprints in there for the most recent sets. Basically, the big chase card. So it's really awesome. And these boost tracks normally have quite a few packs. These ones have 11, pa 11 cards per pack, which is really nice. So you just get more cards in general, which just makes it fun. Now we have System Down, the Magical Mallet, Test Tiger, very cool. The Wing Creeble Level 9. And we have some more 
six samurai love here. So let's put the foils over here. And we have H. Ooh, then we have the Crystal Beast. What is that, Ruby Carbuncle? Yeah, Ruby Carbuncle. I never played the Crystal Beast deck. My, my friend played it way back when, and he had a lot of success with it. I remember getting you know, what, a Crystal Abundance. I think that's the card where I get my entire board <laughs> blown up. I've had some, uh, yeah, he's definitely had some horrific times <laughs> playing against the Crystal Beast deck. It looks like it's a harmless deck, but it's not. Trust me, it's not. Here we have a U-Bell here. Another Six Samurai, very cool. And a Super Palmerization is one of my all-time favorite cards. I only started playing it as of recently when they started releasing more fusion targets where it's just like, takes two Dark March, you know, like super generic things. So I've been running these in my Antimeta deck at three. So really, really cool card. Uh, a lot of people have been using them in their side decks as well. So if you're getting into Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, I like those kind of control type decks. So that's, that's my suggestion to one of you. Play Super Poly in it. They come in all kinds of different rarities, too. You got, like, what, rare, common? They come super rare, too, don't they? Yeah, I think super rare and ultimate rare and secret rare. <laughs> like, all the rarities. And we have Cyber End Dragon here. Miracle Fusion, one of my all-time favorite decks. And, oh, my gosh, the alternate art, uh, secret rare Cyber Dragon. This originally came from the, I believe it was Tournament Pack 8. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. And as a rare. I remember playing those back in the day. Very cool. And then we have the Crystal Beast Mammoth there as our super rare. Very nice. The Gallus of Star Beast. We got some really cool commons. These commons are really good in here. Like you got there's like some really, really handy cards. This is the yeah, these booster packs are really nice. Put those foils up here. Let's move over to our next mystery product. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh. A really old special edition. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is something. These are expensive. Oh my gosh. Force of the Breaker Special Edition. You got two Force of the Breaker booster packs plus one of the classic IOC booster packs. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I got the same feeling of like when you pull like a Ghost Rare or Starlight Rare. Wow. Thank you, David. Oh my gosh. This is a tree and a half. Oh, I feel, I'm feeling very spoiled right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is way over the top. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am so thankful. I'm going to be very, very careful with this. Wow. What it, <laughs> these booster packs are not cheap. The special edition is not cheap. Oh my goodness. I don't know off the top of my head. I just know these really old, anything that has any of the original booster packs like that in it are expensive and very, very hard to get right now. Wow. This is incredible. Force of the Breaker. This has been a long time since we've opened up any of these booster packs. And this is these booster packs are absolutely gorgeous. I love that like gold color they have on it. Beautiful. This pack actually opened up really nice. I'm gonna put that to the side and keep it. I like keeping some of the 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 wrappers. I think it's cool. The packs are just beautiful. Little pieces of art. Wildfire. And then we have a <laughs> firewall. <laughs> Terrible deal. And the rest of our comments here. Oh my gosh. All right, next to our, our next booster back here. It was rusted against Jerry Beansman right there. So let's go and see if Jerry Beansman gave this pack a little bit of love. Maybe we will get a epic foil out of here. We'll see. Anything from these old sets, I mean, would be epic to me. Oh, nice. Actually, a really cool uh, rare right here. So, um... You can discard this card from your hand and add one legendary ocean from your deck to your hand. And it's cool because you, it's also a big beater as well. Because a lot of those cards, you know, it's like when you discard to build, add something, they're just kind of, there's really small attacks. You can't really do too much with it. But with that, it's 1900, so it's really nice. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> the Invasion of Chaos booster pack right here. This is one of the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh sets and probably my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever come out. I know this is one of the sets that basically just like create, basically created the card game. It gave us our first meta where we had like chaos monsters and everything in it. Chaos, we have chaos Emperor Dragon here, Black Luster Soldier, and the Dark Magician of Chaos. I've mentioned in previous videos, I have never pulled a, a Dark Magician of Chaos out of a booster pack on or off camera ever in my life. So that would be really cool to have that happen. My goodness. Wow. Yeah, so. This is a really big set. <laughs> Primal Seed. 
Oh, then mind you, this guy right here was single-handedly got second place at the YCS in Portland, then right afterwards ended up winning the YCS in Canada, a deck based around this dude alone. No foil, unfortunately, but we have a chain disappearance, and this card saw a lot of side deck play, especially against Insectors. We have a Sacred Crane, very cool. Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. That card was used a lot against the Demise deck. This guy is getting a lot of play too, it's crazy. So, so many of these classic cards that you see, and this is what makes Yu-Gi-Oh so special, being able to utilize those classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the most modern day decks, I think is really cool. All right, so we have two more mystery products here. Let's open up our a little mystery here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh my gosh. So we have these came from these come from Walmart. They're the Invasion of Chaos again and then a Pharaoh Servant. Two of my all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Here we go. Pharaoh Servant. We have that chance of pulling Jinzo. And then obviously we just did the ILC one. We will just go right into this one right here. These are cool because they also include some cards in the in the backs as well. So very, very cool. All right, let's see what they gave us. Oh, and they actually gave us a couple of foils in here too. Very nice. We'll put that in our little, our little pile of hollows. Very nice, cool. Put that to our pile of commons. Oops. Just a couple cards there. Alrighty. And now we have our Pharaoh Servant. I mean, you got the Thousand Eyes Restrict in there. You got Jinzo and Imperial Order. And it's crazy to think that Imperial Order still, to this day, gets played. Jinzo, not so much. But that doesn't mean not forever. We, that card has come back multiple times. And, it, oh, and we have to get it a foil. Fairy Meteor Crush, basically making any one of your monsters have piercing damage. Could you imagine having a blue eyes white dragon equipped with this and be able to attack over our scapegoat? <laughs> Doing some serious damage there, like 3000 direct. That is really cool. So I actually had to pull a foil out of our Feral Servant Booster Pack, and we got a Prohibition out of it. And you can tell these are the repack versions, basic, not repack, but the reprinted version of the classic booster packs. Um, you can tell very easily by just the fact that we got a rare and a foil. Uh, you get a, you know, back in the old school ones, you'd either get a foil or a rare out of it. So. Oh, looks like this one has foils as well. Very nice. Let's see here. We got a foil and a rare this time. You don't always get a, you don't always get two foils from it. My gosh. Wow. That is a first edition LOB common. I don't care what commons you get. <laughs> it's from LOB and it's first edition. That's a gem. We're gonna put that down there. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can't believe they included that. That's crazy. That is insane right there. Wow. All right, on to uh, our second Invasion of Chaos booster pack. I was definitely not anticipating having a, <laughs> a couple of these to open up. And we have Stumbling. Ran this in an old school clown deck that me and my friend built. We were up till like three o'clock in the morning building that deck right before Locals. And we have the Robin Zombie and the Cursed Seal Forbidden Spell. That's the second copy. <laughs> two packs, two Forbidden Spells. Alrighty, so on to our last product from our mystery box, mailed to us by our friend David. Let's see what we have here. Oh, another really nice treat. Rise of Destiny Special Edition. Man, look at this box, everyone. Is this not just absolutely just stunning looking? My goodness. Wow. How could you not buy this? You saw this sitting in the store. <laughs> it just draws me in like a fish to a fishing lure. <laughs> seeing the shiny. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're actually going to just try to keep this box alive because this is way too nice to want to just go and try to damage it. I want to try to keep this thing preserved. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay, let's see what we get out of this. That's really cool. They have them all sealed up in the plastic like that. I like that a lot. Keeps it, keeps them nice and safe like this. 
And you can tell like the newer booster bike have like the rip tabs and the old ones they do not. They're just like flat on top there. Very simple. We have the uh, Diffusion Wave Motion. This comes as a secret rare as well. Uh, so I believe it's first oh, first reprint. It's a ultra rare. Then we have our gorgeous Rise of Destiny. Look at the booster packs too. Gosh, <laughs> these are so beautiful. I'm gonna be careful with the packs. I can at least keep one alive. That looks nice. We will keep that pack. All right, let's go and see what we get here. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Nice little uh, support card for the Harpy deck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are first edition too? Ultimate Rare first edition serial spell. I didn't know that these came first edition in these special editions. Does it say that on the box? No? I didn't know, I just learned something, everybody. Oh my gosh. First edition, ultimate rare serial spell. I ran this card in my old school goat deck when I was when I was literally in the goat format. I try to use this thing combo with like delinquent duo or pot of greed. You activate it, you discard your entire hand, and you like double the effect of one of your normal spell cards. So you you know you pot of greed like you basically, but you had to have a card in your hand, which was fine. You had like a sinister serpent or something, and you discard your entire hand. You get to draw four cards off that pot of greed. It's really really an awesome card. You can only activate this card uh, when you activate one of your normal spell cards. Discard all cards in your hand to the graveyard, then the effect of that card. Uh, yeah, exactly. So basically, you're, just, you're activating it twice. It's very nice. So you get to like delink do your opponent twice and things like that. My gosh, what a awesome card. And it had a little bit of a backstory behind that too. It even makes it more of a treat. Oh my goodness gracious. That is a absolutely gorgeous looking card. Thank you so much. Wow. I am. I'm gonna get that card graded and just keep it. I'm gonna do a video here soon on some of the card on all the cards I'm gonna be getting graded, and you're gonna wonder like, why the heck is Jobber getting that card graded? It's just because I want to keep it. <laughs> that's, that's it. I just want to keep that. I want to have the card in a little graded case. I don't care what it grades. I'm just gonna keep it. That's why. You'll see what I'm talking about once I do that video. <laughs> like some off the wall things. Very cool though. Oh my goodness. Another foil. Back to back hollows right here. The Pikaru's Circle of Enchantment is our super rare here. Wow. Well, anything from these booster packs is very difficult to pull. And we're going to get this thing sleeved up right now. This is absolutely stunning. What a treat. Wow. What does this card do? Tribute this card to special summon one creator from your hand. Wow. <laughs> That's not bad at all. I, that's crazy. I've actually never seen that card uh, played against me, and I think I thought I've seen basically all Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day played against me as some in some form. Can you believe that we've actually pulled out of our three booster packs back-to-back -back foils, a ultimate rare and then a super rare? I can't believe that. Oh, this booster pack actually didn't shred either, so we'll be able to keep this one preserved as well. Cool. I am a fan of that. Back to square one. Oh, I ran this card in a old school ultimate offering gadget deck. So you activate this and you target, select two of your opponent's spells and trap cards, they can't activate them. So I had two of these set, the guy set four back row. I was able to chain both of them, locking down both of his back row so he couldn't play them. And then I had an ultimate offering. I was able to go off with all of my gadgets and OTK them. <laughs> it's really cool. And unfortunately, it was not an ultimate rare, but this comes ultimate rare. It's ultimate insect level three. So the last booster pack did not have a foil. I can't even believe that out of three packs that two of them had a hollow in it. And they're first edition too. I did not know that. And if I did know it, I didn't, I totally slipped my mind. I don't remember. So <laughs> forgive me on that one. All right. So here we go. This is the, basically like the, I mean, that, that was way more of a added treat than I was anticipating. That was actually really crazy. And we got an LOB first edition common, too. This ultimate rare serial spell is insane. All right, well, let's move this pile of folds over here. And we're going to move over to the 2003 Pegasus Deluxe Edition. And it has the Pegasus starter deck in here as well. This is beautiful. These things are getting really, really expensive online. I got these... I got not too long ago, but I was able to get better prices than what you're seeing on eBay <laughs> from people on uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So I lucked out on that aspect of stuff. 
really cool. I actually opened up these a while back. It's been quite a while. I'll open up them separately. Oh, there we go. Wow. So our two Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs. The pack of sleeves actually looks, they look incredible. Uh, I think they look so cool. They are, and these are really old. Oh my gosh, we're the 18 year old pack of sleeves right here. Put that up there with our foils and then here it is. Oh, I forgot about the, the dual tools that we have here. This is a, I mean, classic. Let's go see what they have here. So they're showing the old structure decks and the old deluxe editions, and looks like they are showcasing their first sets of Yu-Gi-Oh in here as well. The classic binders, I remember seeing these. I actually have this one right here right now. And they're showing, oh, there's a, there was a uh, pack of the green sleeves too. And they got the original Yu-Gi-Oh calculators, which are really awesome. Okay, well, that's it for the, the box. And you got this giant just block of foam inside of it. I'm gonna go and close up this beautiful Pegasus box and actually just put the Pegasus box back here in the background. All right, so, man, that is, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's show this little cardboard thing in here too. It's kind of like bouncing around. Very nice. All right, we'll put that right there for right now. And we have our two Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs. Let's go and see if we can go and get one of these elusive foils from these two packs. If we get any foil at all from these, I'd be ecstatic. I don't care what it is. <laughs> Getting a foil from these classic sets is uh, a feat on its own, let me tell you. Gem Defender. That's a little classic common right there. That is a really creepy looking card. Oh my gosh. Infinite cards. You can have as many cards as you're in your hand as you want. <laughs> Very cool. And we have Skull Layer there. What's this? You, I think you gain life points. Offer two of your monsters as a tribute, and then increase your life points by a thousand points. Yeah, I thought that was what it did. That's something to do with life point gaining. <laughs> Very old card. All right, so that's it for that. Commons over here. Moving to our second Labyrinth of Nightmare booster pack. Lightning Blade. That is a cool looking equipment card, I have to say. Oh, this is creepy card again. The Amphibian Beast. That is a cool looking rare. No foil out of these two booster packs, so Joey is going to have to prevail here. A miracle Dig. It's a nice common. Very cool. All right, so onto the Pegasus structure deck. And as I mentioned, we did an opening on one of these. I want to say it's been a long time. It's maybe been like a year or so. So I still have that one. It's right here. I put the cards back in it. So we're going to keep this this Pegasus structure deck sealed and put this over to the side for myself. And we're going to go through. And I mean, this one was already opened. You'll be able to see I just barely sliced the sides of it to keep the, the box nice and beautiful. But I want to do the structure deck part of this video as well. I think that's really important. We'll show off this classic structure deck and all the cards inside of it. We have the official rulebook version 3.0. That is insane. I love that. All right. And then we have the original playmat, which is actually like what we're on right now, what we're using. It's just the paper version of it. You have the field card zone. And then you got the magic card, monster card zone, and then they should have, oh, where's the magic and trap card zone. There it is. You know it's old and it says the magic cards on it. They actually changed the magic cards to spell cards because of the card game Magic the Gathering, in case you didn't know. And here we are. Here's the Pegasus structure deck. It's just out of its wrapper, which is literally did the opening, put it back on the starter deck, and moved on. So... And then we have the beautiful Relinquish right here. Griffin's Wing as our super, super rare. So you got the one Ultra and you get the two Supers and one of them being Crystal Charity, one of the most powerful spell cards to ever be released in the card game. A beautiful Man Eater Bug. I played Man Eater Bug in so many different decks. Dream Clown, very nice. And we have a Wabuku. The Mega Aru ran. Fisher, oh my gosh, I ran Fisher for so long. I ran Fisher until, uh, was, it, was the IOC that Smashing Ground came out of? Whenever Smashing Ground came out. And we have Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, one of my all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And you have Magic Jammer there. Dark Hole, Trap Hole, Muka Muka. 
I remember seeing this on the original <laughs> show on the series there. Toon Summon Skull. Then you got the Toon Alligator. Soul Release. Stop Defense. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Castle Walls. Hero's Shadow Scout. You know, D-Spell there. Robin Goblin, man, it's been a long time. Mask of Darkness, I ran this with Drop Off and Tsukiyomi. So like a, it was like a modern day, well, this has been many years ago, modern day Yada Garusa lock, basically to just make it so whenever they drew, I would drop it off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like a control deck, it was fun. And a Sonic Bird there, Monster Reborn. Remove Trap. Uh, Ruaran. Toon World, the Giant Soldier of Stone. Change of Heart there. Black Illusion Ritual comes in handy with that Relinquish that we have. Witch of the Black Forest. Red Archery Girl. Arm Ninja. The Aqua Madur. Oh, oh, almost fumbled those cards. That would have been bad. And there it is, the Ultimate Offering. You pay 500 life points, you get to have another normal summon. The card's banned, so don't get too excited if you're starting out in the card game and you don't know that. Unfortunately, it's banned, and for good reason. <laughs> I mean, be able to pay 500 life points and to build a normal summon and keep normal summoning, because the gadgets all search each other. When one summon, you get to search it, so green searches red, so on and so forth, red to yellow and all that. So if you have an infinite flow of monsters. So I will put this back into this beautiful structure deck again and hold on to that, because I think it's really, really cool. And now let's move over here to our Joey Deluxe Edition box. This is, these things are really cool. And it was already... I got a good deal on it from the guy on Facebook, because you know the, you can see the wrapper was already kind of messed up. But I told him that I was going to be doing an opening on it anyway, so that's okay. Really cool looking. Oh, a little spot here to write write things down, like your address and your your name and stuff, in case this uh, went missing. Labyrinth of Nightmare. There's our two packs and our second pack of silver sleeves. Our beautiful Joey Structure Deck. And then we have our dual tools. That's really cool. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to close up this beautiful green box. Put that over here. Move these, move these up, up there. And we have our two packs of silver sleeves now. Put that over there. That's, that's a really cool. Maybe I'll use them one of these days. And have our Joey Starter Deck. Put that up here. Let's move over to our Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs. We have two more shots. Come on. Jerry Beans, man. Let's go. Get your work cut out for you on these packs. Let me tell you. Let's go and see if we can get a foil out of here. Oh, nice. That pack actually came out really nice. We're going to keep that. <laughs> Lucking out. That's a beautiful looking card right there. Offerings to the Doom. I ran that in different decks. We combined it with uh, Reckless Grease. You're already skipping your draw phase anyway. The Gem Breeding Machine is our rare. Oh, the Dancing Fairy. What does this one do? As long as card remains face up on your side of the field in defense position, increase your life points by a thousand points during each of your standby phases. My goodness. I remember uh, playing my friend Paul when I was telling you the horror story when he had me stuck under Swords of Revealing Light for felt like an eternity. He, uh, he had those things going too. He was like gaining, he had like two of them. And he kept on gaining his just 2,000 life points every single turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. But when the sword was finally gone, he wasn't able to cycle it anymore. I think he had like something like 22,000 life points. Oh my gosh. That was a, that was a nightmare. All right, so our last booster pack. Let's see what we get here. We already got this in our last one. And Offerings of the Doom as well. That's weird. In the same order. Spirit Message I. The Destiny board in here, but no foil out of these booster packs. These 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 old school packs, they are reluctant on giving them out. Let me tell you. Okay, so it's on time for the Joey. The Joey part of this. And as I mentioned before, I opened up one of these a long time ago, so I already have one that I that is pre-opened. So I will keep this beautiful Joey structure deck sealed and keep that, put that to the side forever. But Still the same one, same cards, same everything. They're just out of their little, they're just out of their little seal in here. And there's the official rule book 3.0, that paper playmat. I used this in the first regional that I, <laughs> I played it. First regional I played it, I actually ended up winning the regional. I was using the paper playmat the whole time. 
Actually, this is, the, this is that rubber mat, right, <laughs> from winning that regional. This is the mat. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. So many years ago. And uh, there are there is the Joey Power card right there, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful card. And we have Scapegoats, which is crazy. As soon as Lynx came out, Scapegoat was being played in all these different decks. I played Penguin Soldier in my side deck when uh, six Samurais were a thing. Had, had this one this one guy ran both of his uh, Sheehan's into it and, and and proceeded to call me every single name in the dictionary that is... Uh, <laughs> that's not colorful. Um, <laughs> was not good at all. And then he ended up storming off. That was not good. He was uh, very upset that he was playing against uh, against me, I guess, because he was playing against an anti-meta deck, and then he he ran both of his Sheehan's and he into a Penguin Soldier. So that was a uh, that was I'd be pretty frustrated myself, I guess. But I don't think I have never gone off on anybody, so I don't know. A thousand dragon here, the white magical hat. It's kind of like a Donza Luke type card. Attack your opponent, and you get to take a card from their hand at random. Pretty cool. The Island Turtle. It's a pretty cool card. Just Desserts. This thing was played in all the burn decks. And there's his extra deck, the Flame Swordsman. His card has all kinds of weird things in it. Reverse Trap. Karate Man! Doubles his attack and gets destroys himself, unfortunately. You got Polarization. The Seven Tools of the Bandit. Spirit of the Harp. Ultimate Offerings is in here, too. I forgot about that. Gear Freed. The Iron Knight. Remove Trap. Armored Lizard, Dragon Treasure, Giant Churnade. This card has been banned for a long time. <laughs> we got Fake Trap. Gain a thousand life points. Big Eye, Magician of Faith, and Sangan. So what was it? Pegasus had the Witch of the Black Forest, and this one had Sangan in it. Very cool. Baby Dragon, Monster Reborn. You got Trap Hole in here. Shield and Sword, Time Wizard, and Fisher. Very cool. Wow. Well, this was a really awesome opening, and I, I was already super excited about just opening the those those parts of it and then showing the structure decks. But that mystery box that we got from Dave was absolutely insane. I mean, that serial spell and the Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Oh my gosh, what incredibly beautiful pulls. My gosh. That was absolutely awesome. And wow. Well, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. And don't forget about that giveaway. Comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you saw in today's video. There's a lot of cards for you to choose from. Give this video a like. Be a subscriber. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell right next to you so you get notified. Turn on all the notifications on your phone. So you actually do get notified when I post future openings. I'll be announcing the winner of this contest in the comment section of my next video, so stay tuned for that. And say hi to me on Instagram. I will always say hi back. And on that, Jobber here is signing out. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of you, and I can't wait to read all of your guys' comments. Peace.